Well, China's leading internet search company Baidu has defied the naysayers and the crackdown on big tech by Chinese regulators. It has delivered a better than expected result for the third quarter thanks to a leap in revenue from its AI cloud operations. Both sales and earnings per share came in better than forecast by Wall Street analysts. Baidu saw a jump in ad sales on the recovering domestic Chinese economy, which helped push marketing spending higher. Well, the company's foray into artificial intelligence, cloud and autonomous driving also helped its growth. AI cloud revenue alone jumped by 73% year on year. Baidu's results come amid a wide-ranging regulatory crackdown by China on its technology sector and a bid to rein in monopolistic practices. Alibaba will be the next uh, Chinese tech company to shed light on the impact of China's tech crackdown. Its third quarter results are out tomorrow. And analysts expect a decline in profit of almost 20 percent. And this after Tencent reported its slowest sales growth since 2004. But uh, how much of a reflection are the results on the government's tighter restrictions? Uh, we're joined by Jia He Chen from Novum Arcade Technologies. Uh, well, Jia He, Baidu's Q3 results beating estimates, uh, should the market be reassessing how China's big tech companies are coping with that clampdown? Well, the, the latest financial report of Baidu is better than expectation. That, that's mostly because Baidu got its money from uh, things like advertisements. And when the economy recovers from the COVID situation, companies tend to uh, spend more on advertisement. So this really tells you that when you look at China's tech companies, you have to differ from one to another. I mean, Baidu is one that gets very little impact from the recent regulations. So its financial re report just recovers in the first place. Well, Alibaba uh, has been closer, uh, has been a closer target of government regulators. So how is it likely to come out the other side of this government campaign? Well, it's, it's a bit hard to exercise how Alibaba will be doing. If you look at its businesses, Alibaba has got strong competition with almost all its businesses, uh, with Tencent uh, on the financial side, uh, with Pinduoduo and Jingdong on the shopping side. So Alibaba has got a huge amount of competition from all these uh, companies, uh, unless like Tencent. Tencent got a WeChat, which is um, quite unbeatable. It got a strong moat around it. But Alibaba got strong competition. It's not only the government saying. Uh, but anyway, the valuation looks uh, pretty attractive for the moment. I'm personally not capable of accessing how Alibaba is doing, but when I look at Charlie Munger has been uh, keep on bottom, uh, bottom fish in this company, so I think it probably will pass through, I think. And yeah, how should investors uh, view China's tech sector at this point? Uh, this is a very uh, critical and a very tricky point that you have uh, bad news on one side, the government uh, keeps on saying we're having stronger regulations, you should behave yourselves. Uh, on the other side, you have very low valuation right now. When you look at Tencent, got like 20 uh, plus P ratio and Baidu got like 12 times P ratio. So it's really cheap valuation. So my personal point of view is that if you think this company will be a good company in the next five to 10 years, if you think that this company will fight through all its competitions and be a great company in the future. I think it's a good time to buy. But if you're not sure whether this company will pass through, uh, then I would be cautious on the other hand. And do you think the crackdown is uh, altering expansion strategies, especially here in Asia? Well, that, that's uh, probably another side of the story, that companies cannot earn the money as easily as they were uh, in, in China. But uh, with this, it's a possibility that they will um, expand their expansion in Asia. Because you know, when, when you are very easy to get money from the Chinese market, why consider the other Asian countries where you have to learn a different language, uh, different regulation, deal with different, different government? But when you have a slowdown uh, industry in China, you would think more of the Asian market, as I think. Well, Jia, at the same time, the U.S. is not letting up in its scrutiny of these uh, tech firms with China Telecom's appeal uh, to continue operations in America now with the U.S. court. So what impact does this have on Chinese tech companies? 
Um, if you talk about the business side, it won't be uh, much impact at all because if you if you read the financial reports of these companies by do Tencent China China Telecom, ninety uh, percent or ninety nine percent of their income actually comes from China alone. So uh, whatever US does to them really does very little harm to them. It's it's not like Huawei because Huawei sells a lot of things overboard. But when you look at these software companies, they almost got all their income from China. So from the business side, it's, it's not important, but many of the Chinese tech companies might not consider U.S. in the future as a very important capital market because they are worrying that, you know, when, when companies go for an IPO, they think about like five years or 10 years. So um, this kind of situation might restrict them from going there uh, for the capital market things. But for business, it's fine. It's, it's really nothing to do with their business financial shits. Well, thank you, Jia Chen from Novomarket Technologies.